Hello, my lovely Pisces. How are you? It is Monday, May the 1st, 12, 10 p.m. in the e in the afternoon. Um, The person that wore the bracelet, the name is Gordon Dennis. Gordon Dennis. Okay, Gordon Denny. Gordon Denny. So please claim this, and if you don't claim it, by the end of this week, we would do another draft. And maybe I have to do it live where the people that are on there live will be able to win it. All right? So, Gordon Denny is the one that won this. Please reach out to me at 609-892-9469 so that I can get your address to send it out to you. Okay? Now, I want to say thank you, dear Father, Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit for bringing me here with you this afternoon, and I pray that you are also well, and if you're sitting here watching me, you are wide awake, just like I am, okay? So, for all those who like and share and subscribe to this channel, all right, and leave comments, thank you a million. For the new ones and my oldies, all right? And if you all go onto my webpage, all right, my web store, know that I sell candles. And these candles that I'm showing you are all made for me, right? So when you order them, I make them for you. But these the ones I'm showing you are mine, okay? This is the Black Magic Spellbreaker Candle. This is Abundance, Prosperity, Healing, Growth, Wealth, and Fertility Candle. And this is the Love Yourself Candle. And you know I always burn the Justice Candle. Okay, I always burn the Justice Candle when it comes to my altar. And I work in, in front of the altar all day, every day. Alright, this is my Sage and I give you two Palo Santos when you order that. The walnut is also um, to work on your um, shadow side. We all have a shadow side, okay? These are my oils, and my oils come also in dry form. And you can put these oils in anything you have, okay? I also have stones and crystals, all right, and my jewelry, all right, and what you see on me is what I also make, all right, I also have my salt scrubs, all right, my salt bath, all right, and I have um, herb bags um, that you boil and you also can use um, as rituals, if you don't have, uh, excuse me, a, a tub, you can also do it in a shower, all right? Uh, I did say that after this, if this person doesn't claim it, I will be giving away the next prize is this prize. All right, so if anybody... Um, is interested in winning it, subscribe to the channel, and then you will be able to win my prizes, all right? That is all the chakras, and it's in a tree that's very beautiful, all right? So if you go to my web, you will see everything that I sell. So you're welcome to go there and check it out, all right? So I've been getting up very early to do my readings. And that means if I'm if I'm doing them early, that means I'm going to bed early so that I will be able to get up, not tired, all right? So you know I stay with my evil eye on me at all times. I do have a um, necklace that are so cute and dainty, they're not loud. Um, but they got the evil eye, all right, so check that out. Let's get started with the reading, all right? Let's get started with this reading. As you know, if you follow me on TikTok, you know there I do readings, 
and I do um, information that I put on my you my um, YouTube and um, also on Instagram and Facebook. And I think by me doing that Instagram and Facebook, um, that's where people started getting all crazy. You know, the people that you grew that I'm gonna say the people that you did surround where you live, okay? Because they're the only people that always got something to say about you. So I don't let them stop my growth. I just kick them to the curve like I do when I don't like something. I kick you to the curve, honey. It's like you can watch me if you want. But I know you're watching me even though you ain't subscribed. I know you still watch me, okay? Okay, because you ain't got the balls to subscribe, so you just sit there and watch me. I see you. Yeah, you, you got people that watch you because, you know, they're interested in what you do every day. You know, these are people you might have blocked out of your life, don't have nothing to do with. You know, you don't play them no mind no more. They still be watching you. It's like they watching your growth Pisces. They can't stand it. So when you get people like that that watch you and watch your growth, you know, you got to give them their props because they want to learn something from you. Huh? They kind of missing you. They should have thought about that while they was trying to dog you out and trying to act like they were better than you. That stuff is crazy to me. It's really crazy. I stopped um, opening my house, my doors, and being nice to everybody because... You know, I'm the kind of person that give and give and give, but everybody ain't like that with me. All right, so I stop being nice to people. And, I mean, everybody don't deserve it, but I ain't got time to pick and choose who is and who ain't. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I ain't got time for y'all. You know what I mean? Like, you come at me crazy, I'm going to give you the opportunity to hang yourself. All right, so here we go. Jonah Ark, Ark Michael. Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, please come in and help me do this reading. And help me do this reading. The first read, the first one that you got here, energy, is the King of Wands. Alright? Now, don't go by the signs. Alright? Because if you go by the signs, oh, I'm not seeing them. And this don't apply to me. Where well, is a reading, sweetie? It's a general reading if you want a private reading, purchase one. And then it'd be about you. Oh, this don't, this ain't got nothing. To, well, then ain't about you, sweetie. Moving on. Okay. Uh, this is the king of one, somebody that's very creative, somebody that um, likes to make this world right, can work with people. Um, very fiery. Uh, okay. Somebody that's um, a go getter. All right, but very, very fiery, you know, can get a lot of people's attention, wants to make the world a better place to live in, okay? Um, this person is a um, very influenced leader, very charming, goes after what he believes, all right, goes after what he believes has the um, ability to look at the bigger picture and sparkle um, motivation. He believes in what he does and does by setting an example. He is usually very supportive to those around him. Did you hear that? All right. The next card you got is the nine. Of what of cups now looks to me like somebody's watching tarot's all right the nine of cups is like wish fulfillment but somebody here is watching somebody deeply yeah. okay satisfaction confidence well planted so this person wants to come on in and make things right, all right? Set your intentions and put patience and um, determination. Believe that you are worth it. Make a vision board. 
or to-do list and stick with it, you will receive the satisfaction from the things that are well, that you are well planning. So with the king of wands is someone that will plan something, get things going. They start, they got the fire to start something. But then the nine of um, cups is saying, this has to be well planned, right? Satisfaction, confident, well planned. Satisfaction, confident, well planned is something that you are putting your all into. All right, and it's got to fit you, Pisces. I mean, don't do something that is not for you. Do it because it's for you. I mean, don't jump into stuff. Plan things ahead. See how things are going to move on for you. You know, it's a plan that you, it's like I got a plan of doing something, but I can't tell y'all what I'm going to do. But the time is coming up, so I keep looking for things that I can do. Okay, or how I can do this. Um, but I look for it every day. It's not a day that I don't look at what I need to do. And I'm looking at it to fit me. All right. What is fitting me? All right. So I'm going for something, but I need to plan everything ahead of time. So when I get there, everything is the way I want it to be. Okay. Everything is I want it to be. It's like the nine of cups. It's like Christmas, honey. Like you get what you want, all right, from this person or this person wants to, you know, come to you. But everything is well planned, and you get what you want because you're not jumping quick. It's like something here that you fiery about. It's like you got all this flame that, you know, that you're very creative, but you planning this. It's not like you. Doing it without no plan, it's not like you're going to do it and not think about what you're doing before you do it. No. It's like well planned. And it's going to bring you satisfaction because you're doing with it. You're doing it with confidence. All right? Like, you know you can set anything off you want. You know that when you walk in a room, you, you light it up. Right? It's like... You're planning a cookout, or you're planning your birthday, or you're planning a trip. Whatever it is that you're planning, or this, whatever it is that you're doing, it's like you're being confident about it, okay? You're making sure it works for you, all right? Tell me more. Tell me more about this. Let me get some Ambra. Ambra, I'm thinking about you. I hope everything is fine. I know that you went through this with your grandmother, but um, this is the Amber, you know, non-stick, non-stick, non-slippery. All right, tell me now what this nine of coins is like. It's like you sitting there with all these cups, right? Sitting there with all these cups, and it's like you looking into this crystal ball, like you know. Somebody may be tarot card readers. Somebody here may be watching tarots. All right, look, look at the look inside of it. You see a person that you seeing it. Okay, you seeing this? Do you see it? Look, look at that. All right, it's like you can see into this ball. It's like you can see the future. Like you can see Pisces. You're very intuitive. You're very psychic. All right, I feel like you see what is coming to you. You, you, you're witnessing it. All right, um, but then you got the thirteen, the death card. It's like something here is leaving. It's it's like this, whatever this is, this king is bringing you everything. It's like you setting this because you see it before it's happening. You see everything in front of you. It's like you are very psychic. Like you see it. Now, I don't know if this is a bittersweet. Because at the end of everything. It's like somebody's walking away. And it seems like they're walking away. Like you seeing somebody walk away. Like you. 
It's like you knew that this was going to happen. Okay, it's like you watching somebody walk away from you. Um, but with this walking away or ending something, it's like um, something new is going to come. I don't know. I feel like you're comfortable in your home, right? You're comfortable where you're at. But it's like you feel this energy around you that you may feel like is good for you. You may feel like you need to do this for yourself. But it's something here that needs to be done with so that you can get all your happiness to come to you. It's almost like I know what's good for me. I know that this is good for me. But in order for me to get all of what I want from what is good for me, I got to let something go, even though I'm not prepared to let it go. I have to let it go. Because when I'm not within this situation, I grow. But when I'm in this situation, I don't grow. It's like the best thing for you to do is I like being there, but it's not good for me because I don't grow for me. Okay. It's like you're, it's like you comfortable with where you're at and you got what you want. Right. But then you got to cut off something that means dearly to you, be loving to you. That is not for you. And you, it's like you watching, I don't know if you're watching tarot over this. I don't know if you're a tarot reader. I don't know if you, um, very psychic. It's like you, you, you feel this. You, it's like you feel this. It's like I see a man and a child walking away. All right. I see something that meant something dearly to you walk away from you. Okay. But I see this butterfly that means it's a transformation after this. All right. So what I'm saying to you, Pisces, sometimes we are in situation that we are in for now, I'm going to say for all the wrong reasons, right? Because we feel like somehow, some way we can change people, but we can't because it's, it just seems like it's no matter how much you try, you're the one doing all the work. It's not like somebody else. Is putting the work in. It's like you're doing it. And Pisces is known to do the work. That's the problem. We don't know how not to give and be supportive and love. That's who we are. And people take advantage of that when it comes to us. It's like they think they can sugarcoat things to us and it'll work. Or they think they can say things to us. To make us stay and it'll work. Or to be still and it'll work. Right? And sometimes we are in situations where we're like, um, we know what's good for us, but we don't want what's good. We want what doesn't want us. Or will not be there for us. Or will not support us. Right, so then we fight the feeling of what is not supporting us that we know is not good for us, and what is good for us, it's like we don't look at it, right? And so, but somebody here has all their cups up, and they, they literally can see this happening, you know. I hear that song by Boyz II Men, The End of the Road. All right? 
and I can't let you go. But it's the end of the road. Right? So, you have so much fire in you, Pisces. It's so much fire in you. It's just so ready to let this fire blaze on you. But, it's like somebody has a water hose and want to turn your fire off while you trying to keep this fire burning. Right? It's like when they see you fiery, they, they just try to throw water on you so they can turn you off. Alright? But you feel it and you see it. And like I said, I feel like it's it's a lot of people here. Um, it's like you watch me, you watch somebody else, and then you try to see if every if all these readers are saying the same thing in one way or another, right? So that it can make sense to you, all right? And that's how I feel. It's like you're trying to get information from all these readers that you watch to make sure that it's all somehow, some way connected to each other, right? And you're doing it because I see you doing it. Now, I'm not a hater to that shit. You do what you want to do. You can watch 50 million readers if that's what you want to do. You don't never got to uh, uh, explain anything to me because I'm not a hater, honey. I don't give a damn what you do, who you watch. I don't really care. It's not my business. It's not my problem. It's not my place to tell you who to watch and who not to watch. Okay? I don't give a damn what you do. Whatever fits you, do it. If you don't want to watch me, don't watch me. Okay? If I'm not for you, I'm not for you. All right? If I don't float your boat, I don't float your boat. All right? I'm not meant here to be for in everybody's life. You got many choices to look at. You can sit here and watch YouTube all damn day if you want. And make your life be YouTube. My life ain't about a YouTube. Okay? You know, it really ain't. Because I know what is right and what ain't right for me. I don't need nobody to tell me that. I don't need nobody to tell me that I got a trash ass person that I'm with. I don't need nobody to tell me that somebody's treat me bad. All right? I don't need, I, I see that. But if you choose to stay in situations that you are in and you need to watch 50 million tarot to tell you that that ain't for you, then that's your damn business. It ain't mine. I'm just telling you. You're here with, a, you can be dealing with, um, uh, 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 Fireside, Eric Sagittarius or Leo, but that they will give you the world, right? But instead, you want to look at what is walking away from you that does not, is not doing you no good. That's what you're looking at. You're not looking at what is going to be there for you and what is going to help you out. You want to look at what it ain't good for you. And, you, and, and then you want to put your head and wrap yourself all into it. When you know it, it, it might be, you might have been dealing with a with a Scorpio. That you, it's an ending to this. But you got a Sagittarius here. You got a Scorpio here. But in the middle, you watching YouTube because you need to gain all this knowledge. All right? When you got all the knowledge, when you know what's the right thing to do, when you live in your life. All right? It's like, okay, I can have my cake and eat it too. I, but I don't have to be with this person. But I'm going to be with this one because this one tastes Kimmy. But this one right here wants to play with me. It's hard to be with a Scorpio. You know, it's hard to understand a Scorpio because a Scorpio, they're going to get what they want. All right? You may think, oh, but they don't, they don't have no feelings. They're cold-hearted. Whatever you want to say, so are you. All right, so are you. You're no different than they are. What you think you're different than they are? No, you're not. If you look at it, they are in your family. They are in a water family, right? So you already know how we get down. But then when you deal with a fire sign, right, it's different. All right, because they're not your family. They're not in your family. Okay, they're fire signs. All right, so this person is, it uh, might be a person that, 
you know, be around you, cater to you. But no, you want somebody else that drives you fucking nuts. But you going through all these YouTubers to, like, you see it. It's like in your face. But you want to know. All right, I got all these cups. I got a person that wants to give me everything. But then I got somebody that I don't want to let go. But, um, you know, I want to throw salt and, and, and do all this shit to them to, to make them know. It's like a bunch of bullshit. All right? It's like either you are or you're not. Honey, you can chase somebody that don't love you. You can be in somebody's life that don't love you. You can be their doormat. You can be they. They can use you. You can know that they were other people. You're happy with that. You content with that. You good with calling them up, cursing them out, telling them they ain't no good what they did to you in the past. I mean, it's so much bull crap that can go on here. But here is somebody that wants to be good to you. Oh, no, you ain't got time for that. But you got time to put all your energy into something that ain't good for you by even giving them the time to argue with them or to say whatever negative you got to say to them. All right? Or putting your point out there. or Because they walking away, honey. Trust me, you can talk whatever you want. But they always go home to if they got kids by other people. They ain't think about you. They going home. They might come and screw you and go home to... The person that they got kids by. They are not thinking about you. They don't care what you say to them. How you say it. You can turn blue in the face. And tell them anything you want. But the ending of this can be a transformation. But you seem to see somebody walk away from you. But the ending is a transformation. But the ending is. Are you going to keep continue going back and forth. Back and forth. Or are you going to let it go. And get something that wants you. Alright. This for you. Not against you. All right. All right. Now, so um, let's see here. Um, so let's see what we got to say here. Tell me more about this King of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles. So you got the King and the Queen now. It's like somebody's laid back or probably older, right? But you sitting there with your nose up in the air, like. You know, this person is looking at the future, but you're looking at, like, I got this. You know, like, I got this under control. It's like you're, sometimes, no matter how good somebody can be with you, you got your mind set up on doing something, you're going to do it. All right? If you got your mind set up on showing somebody that you can do this without them, you're going to do that. All right, but it's almost like you're holding your pinnacle saying, I'm going to work and I'm going to make my money, right? But somebody wants to be laid back with you, but you're saying, I want to work and make my money. It's like you don't have time to really sit because you're, make, you're, you're about your money, all right? All right, but you might ask somebody all about you, but it's like you're about your money or you're about the money, Okay. You might have somebody that you may not see that they're good enough for you because you are about your money. And this person don't have everything it takes to be with you. All right. Tell me more about this nine of uh, of cups. Tell me more. It's like you, it's like your mother. Like you are set in your ways. Like as far as material, you got what you want. Right. And I'm going to say this to you when I say that. I read somebody's comment that said, I don't have everything I want. Well, you can be living out in the street with nothing over your head. I'm tired of hearing people tell me they don't have what they want. What you think? You got to live with money? Is that all you want? Because you're not grateful for everything that God has given you, the breath that you've taken, the clothes on your back, the roof over your head, the food on your table. It may not be everything you want, but you got what it takes to keep you alive. Stop being ungrateful. I'm sick of people being ungrateful and telling me they don't have nothing. Well, let me see you walking out butt naked around the streets. Let me see you living homeless with nothing, not nothing on you. All right? Now walk like that and then tell me you don't have nothing. All right? Stop being self-centered and selfish 
and not thanking God for everything. You got the breath that you breathing. The fact that you are okay and health wise. That's more than any money that, money that you can have. Stop living this filthy material world. All right, it's like if you don't have this money or if you're not making this money or you don't have this, oh no, you're going to shoot whatever it is down because they're not good enough for you because you want somebody that has everything they can offer you and it don't go that way. God bless the child to have their own. And I, I'm, I'm, I, I read a comment like I said, please stop playing with me. I mean... It's, it's, it's sad. And you know what? You keep playing with God and keep talking about you ain't got nothing. And God going to make it, make it so you don't have nothing. So now you appreciate it, appreciate it of what you got. All right? And now you know what it is not to have nothing. To be living in the streets. Okay? Like you look at a homeless person. You think that homeless person, oh, they ain't got nothing. And then you looking at them. That'd be you. Worse than them. Keep playing. You want to worship money? You want to worship everything you want? I don't have nothing. You know, I'm going through this. This man is living in the house and I'm over here living in the street because we're divorced and I don't have nothing. I'm waiting to finish go through this court to get everything I need. I don't have nothing. Keep playing with God. You're going to wind up with nothing for real. Keep playing with God. All right? So you got a king of wands and a queen of pentacles. All right? Very materialistic. And then you got somebody full of fire. All right? Creative. All right? You got two people here that can make it happen. But I don't know what your world is. All right? Or how you want to live your world. Okay? How do you want to live your world? Do you live your world in materialistic things? Are you one of them people that worship money? They got to have a man that got money. They want to sit there and see other people's man for their money. All right? Somebody breadcrumbing you, that's good enough to be with because that's all you can get from them. Okay? Is that you? Is that what you want? All right? What is it? Are you a person that says, I work hard for my money? I do everything for myself, but I'm taking care of a grown ass man that don't need me. But um, I'm going to make sure they need me and clean them up. And then they move on to the next one. What do you want? What is it that you want? Because no matter what you got, it's never good enough. You want the next best thing. What is it that you want? You can't question. The universe because of how you live. The universe ain't got nothing to do with how you live and where you see yourself and how you handle yourself. You like that because that's what you choose to be and how you choose to live. But you want to sit and watch tarot and live off of tarot. Tarot ain't everything, damn it. Tarot's ain't your life. If you apply everything a tarot reader tell you, you're going to go crazy. And I'm talking about myself. I'm, I'm not no different than no other tarot. Life is bigger than this. Your life is bigger than this. All right? We're here to help you. But damn. Come on now. Where you are at? Where you need to help yourself? All right? You want to sit there and chew bubble gum? Watch TV, get all drink and eat all day and don't have a job, don't want to do nothing, have everything to make money but don't want to put things up to get started. You want to depend on other people to make things for you. You go to work, you complain about the job you got. You constantly complain about everything in your life that ain't going right. Everything ain't nothing going right in your life because I don't care what it is. Tell me more. Tell me more about the nine of, of, of cups. You got the nine of cups, everything like Christmas. Not only did you get the nine of cups, you got the ace of cups on top of the um, nine of cups. It's like you watching. It's like something here is for you. 
in the cups. Like the, the Ace of Cups is a union, a new beginning, something beginning new for you. That's going to bring you happiness. But remember, don't put your nose up in the air and think you're better than somebody else. Don't put your nose up in the air and say, I want this because of this. Or, you know, always complaining. Stop freaking complaining. All right? Because God can give you everything you need and want. But karma always has a way of showing you who you really are. Okay? You can be the greatest person in the outside. People can see you all nice and all this and that about you. But your insides need to be worked on. Okay? You can't bring... And connect to the outside of you if the inside of you is always complaining and complaining and complaining and complaining and complaining about everything. Okay? About everything. You go to work, you complain about it. You come home, you complain about it. You go to the store, you complain about it. You get in the car, you complain about it. You get something new, you complain about it. You like it, but then you complain about it. You know, come on now. But you can have everything because you got the nine of cups means you have everything. You can be satisfied with everything that you got. And you got the ace of cups. It means new beginnings, new things coming your way. But how are you accepting the new thing? You got to be purified in the inside to show in the outside of you. When you got something good, treat it like you, like it's good to you. It may not be what you want, but it's the best thing for you. Okay? Tell me more about this um, this um, 13, this death card, this ending. Tell me. Taking a leap of faith with the one that, that what is coming after ending, after transformation. All right? Learning from this ending. It was a learning experience that you had to learn. Because taking a leap of faith, that's what it's all about. Learning from what you've been through and taking a leap of faith and saying, I'm going to take a leap of faith for this, but I don't know what it's going to be when I get there, but I know it's got to be better than what I, where I was at. Everything I learned, right? Because you learned it from something. I done already told you everything I had to say. Clean the inside of you so it can match the outside of you. Be grateful for everything that God has given you. Okay? For everything. I'm telling you some real shit. Some real shit. I had many people in my life to treat me like gold. But I didn't want them because they didn't match what I was looking for. I, I, I thought I was better than them. I thought that, um, and this is not saying better than, it's like the way I live. Why should I start taking care of somebody and here I have everything on my own. What are they coming to, to bring me on this table? All right, they coming with nothing, but here I start again. All right, knowing that at the end, this person was the best thing that ever could happen to me. Because this person's been there to clean my ass, put food on my table, make sure I get what I need. They might not give me everything I want. But they coming to the table with something. Rather than to have somebody want to use you, have somebody else, you, you're second to them, you're trash to them, but that's what you want. All right? Because you feel like, oh, they're going to give me this at the end. You keep waiting on and you keep putting on people on the side that it's going to be good for you. And this transformation that you're coming through is all learning lessons that you are learning in your life. And now you take the leap of faith, not even acknowledge what, what you're going to go through, but you know it's got to be better because it's a new transformation, a new beginning, okay? And that's why you got the nine of cups and the ace of cups along with the ending of this is done and over with to start learning the lessons and applying all these lessons to your life. So when you take the leap of faith, you know that also you're coming into something new. And you're taking all the lessons that you learn and you're going to apply it so you don't do the same thing again. That's what it's about. Okay? And you think about how you want things to be. How you want someone to treat you. How do you treat people? Alright, that's what it's all about.
right? You 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 get set in your ways. I mean, Pisces, I'm a Pisces like you. You know, I'm not beating you up. I'm talking to my dad so because I always say me too. Okay? I don't just say you, I say me too. Been there, done that. All right. Tell me more about this Queen of Pentacles. The Page of Cups, beginnings, a new way, all right? Somebody may be younger than you, um, something, a new path, okay? A love, this love connection of feeling this new love thing that feels good, okay? Somebody looking at your picture, somebody's feeling this wave of emotion with this king and his queen, okay? A wave of emotions, this new thing, this new feeling, like you sitting there thinking about how you want this to be. You picturing everything how you want it to be, all right? And that's what makes a Pisces is that we're dreamers and we make things happen. But when we dream, when it comes to love, all right, we go overboard. Now, when it comes to our money, we can make that happen. But when it comes to love, we intend to go way overboard because we see everything before it can even happen. Like we want to be married to a person. We just getting to know them. Like slow your pace down. Get to know people. Don't rush things because you're going to, you know, you're going to make them leave you too. It's like you put too much pressure on them. All right. Tell me more about this ace of love. But I see a lot of love here. A lot of love here. A lot of love here. Okay, the Empress, a lot of love, giving birth to something new, giving birth to a baby, getting a, 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 a adopting a, a, a dog, a cat, giving somebody a new home, maybe adopting a child, all right, um, opening a new business, all right, being very creative, Mother Earth, all right, bringing things to Action to seeing things in a reality world, all right? Nurturing, all right? Nurturing a situation. It's like you are everything you are. You got that. Now the cups, you got the ace of cups. You got the empress, like you got this shit popping off. Don't let it slip your hands. Don't let it just slip over you. Don't let it do that. Use your mind. Okay? Use your mind this time. You're smart. Don't beat the person up in yourself up. Take it easy. Relax. Go with the flow. Alright? Please, Pisces. Go with the flow. Alright? Tell me more about this death card and this a uh, fool. The death card and the fool. Tell me more about this death card and this fool. You got somebody here smiling. It's like, I got to do this in a different way. Even though this card represents somebody being deceived and being sneaky, doing things. But it can also mean like, I'm smiling. I'm coming at you. I want to do this in a different way. I want to do something that's old and I want to renew it. I want to build this structure over with you. I know I wasn't the best person before. But I want to come in a different way this time. It's this transformation that you're coming through, Pisces. But you got to understand. You got to understand, Pisces, that sometimes the hardest thing is what we love the most, what means so much to us, to let go of it. All right? It's like, I can be with you. I can have it all, but I want to sneak around with somebody else because that's who I want to be with. But it ain't for you. How many times this person got to be coming around being deceiving and lying and cheating on you? 
Why you can have somebody that's going to treat you like gold, but you want to constantly play with somebody that ain't worth shit. You figure it out. You figure it out. And remember one thing, Pisces. What goes around comes around. Karma has no names, no faces, no favoritism. It doesn't. Remember I said that to you. You can have it all or you can let it slip away. You think about it. All right, Pisces. I love you. Bye-bye.